Today we are in Ajax and we're doing a pros and cons. That way, if you are looking at moving here or you live here already and you're just wanting more information or maybe to see more of Ajax, to see the good or the bad, this video will be for you uh, because it's just gonna help uncover that for you. Uh, pros and cons are great videos because it just gives you the good and the bad all while me showing you little parts of Ajax that maybe you didn't know about or would have seen otherwise. Uh, this video comes from Harish because he has commented on so many of my last videos asking about when I'm coming back to Ajax. So I'm in Ajax, I've done some property tours and uh, yeah, we'll do a pros and cons here now uh, and we'll just kind of get into it right now. Uh, so for the first pro, it has to do with the amenities. So Ajax as a whole has so much shopping and it has so many restaurants and it has so many like recreation facilities, whether you're closer to the water or you're closer to the north. Right now I'm at Audley and Rosalind. Uh, so this is a place, it's the Audley Sportsplex. Uh, inside they have gym, swimming pool, party centers. Uh, they have just a whole whack of stuff that's kind of inside. And then you have like a six baseball diamonds. And the one that's behind me is like as professional as you can get as a baseball diamond. Even on the far side, they have like the dome that you would put over uh, home plate, I guess, for batting practice. And just a whole bunch of cool stuff where if you are a baseball player or you have families and you just want stuff that's good for uh, families, kids, uh, or professional baseball players, uh, you do have that. Uh, so yeah, the first pro has to do with uh, just the amenities that you'll have here. The next pro has to do with the green space. So Ajax has tons of green space. You, I have my drone way up there right now and you're kind of seeing the home subdivisions and then you're seeing just all the green and the trees that's kind of surrounding it. There is so many areas within Ajax still to be developed, but with that whole government announcing some of the land going back to the green belt, uh, it might not get developed. It's definitely going to put a hamper on the uh, available housing options for people who are looking to buy a house. Uh, so yeah, Ajax has tons of green space and it's just good because you have like the trails, waterfront trail, for example, or just the different conservation areas that you have as well. Golf courses, uh, the roads here, uh, for the exception of Kingston, uh, because of all the green and there's not so, so many houses compared to the landmass, uh, the traffic isn't as horrible as other areas within the greater Toronto area. Uh, so yeah, the green space is definitely a huge pro and uh, let's just keep going. Our next pro has to do with just how commuter friendly it is. So you have options such as the 401, which will uh, be a heavy drive unless you're going in the middle of the night or I don't know some off hours uh, but even then it's very unpredictable and you can be stuck in traffic jams because of the 401 closure but uh, yeah so you have the option of the 401 uh, you do have the 407 so if you have a company that is paying for your 407 bill uh, that's a great option uh, if you are negotiating your salary and you want to uh, maybe add in that they pay for your 407 that could be a great cost savings for you because the 407 if you used it every day, depending on how far you're going, could be $500 to $1,000 per month that if you had a company paying for, would be really good. Uh, so yeah, you have the 407, the 401, and then if you are on the GO train, you can take the GO train. It's about a 50 minute uh, GO train ride right to Union Station. If you, uh, if you want a little hint, if you drive to Pickering, they have an express, which will get you to Union in 30 minutes. Uh, so it's a little bit uh, shorter of a commute for you. Uh, so yeah, the commute is definitely a pro if you are looking to move to Ajax. This field is by permit only, so I've never actually broken rules in any of my videos, so we'll, uh, we'll go for doing that. Uh, so this one has to do with education. So Ajax as a whole, the schools do rank well. I believe the last time the Fraser ranking was done in 2019, I did average out the different cities. And so the ranking between Pickering to Oshawa, it was Pickering, Whitby, Ajax, then Oshawa. The rankings were kind of close, but uh, so on average, the schools here in Ajax are good as well. You'll have the Southeast schools and Southwest schools, which are decent. And then you go to the North, Northeast, Northwest. They're good as well. Uh, there's an Islamic school that's kind of on the North, North and has like the perfect 10 out of 10 ranking. So the schools here are fantastic. Uh, and then uh, as a whole, hopefully, when the Fraser rankings are done next time, uh, Ajax has good school rankings as well. I think the whole Durham region, you're gonna see an uptick in the schools because in those four years, there's been so many new people to live to the Durham region that I do really feel like it's gonna increase the education. I could be wrong, 
and uh, hopefully I'll have a video of the top schools within Ajax to uh, kind of hit so that you'll get a better idea of what it's all about. This pro has to do with the proximity to a waterfront. So you'll have two waterfronts kind of within Ajax. You'll have the, the west side, which will be more of like you're on a ledge, kind of elevated above Lake Ontario. And then you'll have on the east side where it will actually be uh, like a beach. Paradise Beach is an amazing little beach. You're connected through the waterfront trail. Uh, so you do have two kind of waterfronts, whether you want to go to the beach or you just want to go for a nice walk. Uh, so yeah, proximity, the fact that you have a waterfront is fantastic. And uh, it's something that a lot of cities don't have. Our next pro, and this is our bonus one, has to do with the food scene within Ajax. So typically if you go back maybe 10 years ago, uh, there wasn't very much ethnic food. Where here, you do have the option. And this plaza is a perfect example of that. In this one place, you have a wing place, you have a subway, you have a breakfast place. Far corner, you have Lena's, uh, Rodi, and Doubles. So you have like, you have so much different options just to, uh, to give you an idea. So the, the food scene within Ajax has definitely changed and that's a huge, huge plus, uh, especially for the Durham region as a whole. Now it's time for the cons. Uh, so before we get started into that, uh, I, I love doing these videos and I just ask that you uh, comment on them. If you have any questions at all, you can subscribe to the channel. If you do want to get up to date in terms of what else is happening within Ajax or anywhere within the Durham region, really, if you're looking at moving here, you just kind of want to get a better idea of what it's all about. And then also uh, like the videos if you're getting value of it. it. Let's me know people are enjoying what I'm putting out there, but then it helps you to put my videos in front of other people. Uh, so that would be like, great. Thank you very much in advance. I've also helped so many people looking to move to the Durham region and I absolutely love it. I've met so many cool people that I would not have met otherwise if it wasn't for these videos. Uh, so if you are looking to move here and you want help, all you have to do is call, text, email, uh, send a carrier pigeon, uh, whatever is easiest. And I'm more than happy to help with everything when it comes to moving here. Uh, so let's just get into the cons. Uh, the first con has to do with uh, commute on the 401. So the, I know having the 401 is, is a pro, uh, but the fact that the 401 has a ton of traffic and one of the big backlogs when you are coming into the Durham region happens to be in Ajax right at Salem because it goes from like five lanes to three lanes. And so right at Salem, uh, there is tons of traffic there and it's a slowdown. So especially if you've been battling traffic the whole way, when you hit uh, Pickering kind of eases up a little bit and then you hit the Salem area and it backlogs again. It's like that pretty much within Whitby and on Oshawa and then it eases up a little bit. Uh, so yeah, the traffic on the 401 is, is not fun to deal with. Uh, when I had to commute to Toronto, uh, it probably took years off my life, definitely took some of my hair and my fingernails. Uh, but yeah, so like the 401 on the traffic, the commute, is not fun uh, alternatively you do have the 407 which costs a lot of money to use that uh, and then you have the go train which is affordable uh, and it's the train to union so if you are working kind of close to union station or along one of the stops the, the go train is a huge plus for you and i would definitely take advantage of that the next con has to do with the housing pricing. So if you are looking to move within Ajax, I would say it's probably the second most expensive area within the Durham region. And it used to be a much further spread from affordability from Pickering all the way to Oshawa. Over the last little while, I've noticed that it's not that big of a difference anymore. Uh, from Pickering to Oshawa, if you're looking at that two car garage, four bedroom detached on a decent sized lot that's built in like the 1990s, the gap is getting smaller and smaller because just so many people were looking to move to Oshawa because of what they've been hearing in the news and how it's this great area to invest and buy. Uh, and it just like shot the prices up. And so Ajax uh, has done that as well because it's closer to Toronto. So the closer to Toronto you are, the higher the prices typically are because most of the jobs that you deal with are in Toronto. Uh, so you just notice that the house prices have gone up a lot. Uh, so it's no longer like super affordable. And way back about four years ago, people were moving to the Durham region because it was just so much cheaper than everywhere else. And just with all of the people that have been coming to Canada and they've been coming to Toronto and then they've been wanting to like buy their own home close to Toronto, uh, the Durham region, specifically Ajax, was that very affordable type place that they could look at. Uh, so yeah, like the housing affordability is something that is now kind of a con. Our next con has to do with uh, limited transportation. So if you are looking to move here and you're coming from somewhere like Toronto, Toronto has the streetcar, it has the subway, it has buses where here we have buses and it's the Durham Region Transit that is supplying those uh, those buses. I'm at a bus stop that's on Salem, pretty much close to Roslyn, that area. And uh, so this is kind of all there is. So you have the Durham Region Transit, which is buses. So if you are moving here, you want to be close to uh, a main road because those main roads will have bus stops for you. So depending on where you want to go, it could be easy to get around, but then depending on where you 
you buy or rent, it could be harder to get around. So that you want to factor in. Uh, so if you're close to a main road, you should be okay. But we only have the Durham Region Transit. And then we have the GO Train. So if you are looking to get around, uh, those are the two main ways to kind of do that. Uh, the prices of transit has been kind of on the rise over the last little while. Uh, the current price for, for a bus is in and around like the $3 one way. And then they have bus passes, stuff like that. I'll link to the pricing for that. Uh, so you have a better idea of what the prices are like. Uh, but yeah, so limited transportation is definitely a big con within Ajax, specifically all within the Durham region. So it doesn't matter where within the Durham region, limited transport is something that uh, you might want to deal with. Uh, alternatively, you do have options like taxis and Uber uh, or just get a car. That's the best way. If you're looking to move to the Durham region, factor in getting a car in your budget because uh, it's just so much easier for you to get around. And in the long run, it might not be that much different, if, especially if you're gonna start using Uber and taxis, stuff like that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so that's kind of that con. Now, before we get in too much more into the video, I'll just share a little story with you. Uh, Ajax was actually the first area within the Durham region that I got familiar with. I, uh, growing up, I lived in the Brampton. And um, so coming, to the Durham region, I might have come for hockey, but I was like so, so young, where my grandfather actually bought a home uh, back in the early 2000s, and it was at Audley, right by the uh, Ajax Downs Casino. Uh, so I used to come here to kind of visit him, and that's how I first got familiar with the, the Durham region, specifically in Ajax. And back then, when I was coming from Brampton, it just seemed like it was such a far drive. Uh, so it's kind of cool that I'm here now and when I have to go back to Brampton, the Brampton or whatever, uh, it's not that bad of a drive. So let's just get back into the cons. Our final con has to do with the weather. And I know this is gonna be a con. It does not matter where in Ontario you are living unless you like all four seasons, uh, but the weather can be extremely drastic here. You will have the lake breeze that kind of brings in some of the colder weather, some of the snowstorms that really happen. Uh, they hit the Durham region really hard. Uh, not so bad as the northern you go in Ontario, uh, but still you do get hit hard because you are close to the water. Uh, so you'll have it where sometimes you'll have like two feet of snow uh, on the snow, uh, what are they called? The snow banks and stuff like that. They can go like five feet where it's like, they're even taller than me. Uh, Cause just over the last couple of years, we've been hit so hard with this snow. And that's like a backlog where the 401 will be even more congested. Buses could get canceled. Uh, there are certain streets within Ajax that when there's been snowstorms, it's like a couple of days before the plows even get to the street. So you see people kind of shoveling the roads just to get out of them. Uh, so the, the weather here within Ajax is a con. Uh, it's a con similarly to anywhere in Ontario. So it's, it's uh, I'm not saying that Ajax has it any worse than places like Oshawa or Oakville, anywhere like that. Uh, so yeah, the weather within Ajax is a con, uh, but more importantly, it's gonna be the, the snow <laughs> that gets you hard and the cold it could be like minus 20 and then with the it, it just like the wind makes it even like just get to the bones and it's like horrible 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 uh but as long as you dress warm you're okay and there's been people uh that had where they came from Colombia and uh, they kind of moved in December which is kind of like the colder parts uh, so and they they survived uh, so that finishes off the cons well that was the video I hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to uh, like it uh, subscribe to the channel if you do plan on moving here and you want to get more and more information I moved here in 2012 so I was kind of in your shoes at one point where I knew nothing about the Durham region and just by living here and learning um, coming up with my own stories and stuff like that I've been able to share that with uh, with people that are looking to move here as well and uh, yeah, so I've helped so many people looking to move here from all over the world and I absolutely love that. So if you're looking to move here and you want that help, all you have to do is reach out. You can call, text, email, send the carrier pigeon, whatever is easiest for you. And I'm here to make everything go so much easier. Uh, be sure to check out the other videos on my channel and yeah, reach out if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and until next time.